YouTube. Um, I am wrapped up warm as hell today. Um, I don't know if those of you who watch me who live in England, you will know it is cold as balls. Um, so yeah, I'm wrapped up all nice and snuggly snuggly today because it's fucking freezing. Anyway, I am finally going to be doing my massive collective haul. Um, disclaimer, mm, barely any of this was actually paid for, with, not because like stuff was sent to me, I don't get stuff sent to me. Um, it was either with Christmas money, um, very little Christmas money actually, because most of this is actually from eBay. Um, so really, aside from I think two of the items I'm going to show you, nothing here actually cost over like £5 at most and the majority of them were like 99p to £1.50. First of all, I'm going to start off with the um, little jewellery bits I've got and um, the, all of the jewellery bits I'm about to show you were off eBay, they were all from sellers in Hong Kong. Um, sorry. What I find with um, eBay is that if you are willing to wait like because I, I ordered most of this before Christmas and um, the latest item only just got here this morning. And also the other things I got in my little haul um, was a tripod for my iPhone. Um, but yeah, all of these items, none, there's actually one still hasn't come yet, um, but all of these jewellery bits, none of them cost more than 99p. Um, I don't know the exact links. Um, because these things end pretty quickly on eBay, but if you search the name of these things and choose to have it shipped from Hong Kong, 99.99999% like of the time, they don't charge you postage and packaging, and because they buy everything in sort of bulk wholesale items, um, they can afford to send it to you for this cheap. So the first thing that I got, and if you can't tell by the joy I'm about to show you, I got a thing for spikes lately. Spikes and studs. But the first thing is this spiky studded bracelet, sort of like a black gunmetal colour, which I love. It's all plastic as well. One of the the studs, and these spikes are plastic, and this is actual metal, but. It's quite nice. I'm not going to put it on because it's actually quite awkward, but it sort of sits on like that. So you can either have it resting against your arm like that, or you can actually have it like standing up. But that was the first bit I got. Um, the second bracelet I got was this one. Again, more studs. These ones are metal, but it's sort of like the kind of thing where you pull it to tighten it. And it's really quite nice. It's like a black woven bracelet but with these spikes into the material and um thirdly i got this after subscribing to lily melrose um she's on youtube and she also runs a blog called lily melrose and also what i didn't realize is that we're from the same town um she's actually from ludlow where of course i used to live and went to college so uh, i didn't know that um i doubt lily's gonna watch this but if she does i'm a fan um and I saw her wearing a rose gold version of this and wanted one instantly and knew that I'd be able to find it on eBay for super cheap. And it's this spiky elastic bracelet, which I really, really like. I just wear it like that. It's become my favourite. I wear it all the time. Um, next up in jewellery. <laughs> Again, sounds like I'm a bit obsessed with Lily Melrose at the moment, but I, I kind of am. She's got a very good YouTube, and I literally check her blog every day. And um, I loved, I really loved her stuff even before I uh, found out she was from Ludlow. So that's just an uh, an added plus, really. But it's this um, sort of spiky, same sort of long studs, like a multi-layered necklace. Um, it's a little bit tangled at the moment because it's been in my bag, but that sort of, it sort of lies like that. And it's sort of like, I don't normally go for gold jewellery because I just don't think with my colouring that 
gold is something that particularly works me, but if you can see it there, it's sort of like a, a tarnished sort of gold with black sort of layered over it. So I think that works for me anyway. Next up, and I do believe the last bit from the jewellery section, everyone and their mums who does anything fashion or makeup related on YouTube has one of these and I thought it was time to give it a go. And it is one of the silver sort of collar choker necklaces. I'm not going to try it on right now because um, I'm wearing my massive hand knitted circle scarf. Um, but if you follow me on Instagram, I put up a picture of me wearing it this morning. And it just sort of lies sort of around there like a collar. I think it looks really nice because that's the sort of thing you can wear every day if you wanted to because it's not sort of too flashy but um, it allows you sort of some time to do it up if you wanted. Um, I also got myself a new phone case which I thought was really cool. It pops across. Again this was like, I think this was like £1.50 from Hong Kong. Pretty standard. Now I am going on to makeup bits. Um, firstly, for makeup, again, some of these I am sorry, but I have used them, obviously. So some of them have been used. I got myself finally a blush, highlight, and contour palette. And I don't know if you can tell because I'm, I've been wearing a lot of it today and I've been doing loads of stuff, so my makeup's kind of rubbed off a bit, but. I have started properly contouring and highlighting and blushing and all that stuff and I think it does make a difference, like it makes my face look a lot thinner but it's got sort of this, I don't know if I can swatch these properly for you, it's got a really light white highlighter shade, I use that for the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow and under my eyes. Um, this colour I've just been using as sort of a general pressed powder, it's um. You can see compared to the highlight, it's not as sort of light as the highlight, but especially being someone like myself who is very pale, um, that works out a lot. Um, this one I haven't actually used let yet. It's a really, really light, again, I think the light, because it's sort of twilighty light right now, which is why I look a little bit blue. Um, I'll see if I can fix the white balance later in my movie. But um, it's a really, really light peachy blush which I quite like I just don't know if I've got an excuse to wear it yet because it's still quite sort of cold out here so me personally I like to wear warmer colours on my face just to counteract. Um, this one I've been using as a day to day everyday blush it's sort of like an orangey peachy rosy blush colour which I really like. Uh, what we have here is sort of a light brown contour shade which I think is supposed to be for people with my colouring because I'm quite pale but being the douchebag that I am as soon as I saw that contouring could give me instant cheekbones I have been using the darkest bronzing powder in the kit which is this one. So all in all I think this was like three pounds with free postage and packaging. Again, it was a Hong Kong eBay find. The wonders of eBay. Uh, next up from my makeup-y bits, and again, please pardon me, but I haven't had a chance to clean them this week. I finally bought myself some makeup brushes. Um, it comes with sort of a really, really nice, really quite fluffy face blush. Uh, face brush. I don't really use this for my setting powder just because it's a bit too fluffy and soft for that I find. I use my um, other body shop face brush for that and my stippling brush which I will show you in a bit. Um, it's got a sort of larger C-shaped brush which I use for my concealer, an angled brush which I use for my eyebrows and to uh, set my eyeliner if I'm wearing gel eyeliner, a small C-shaped brush which I'm using for um, eyeshadow. This brush didn't actually come in the kit, it was a separate brush I ordered from eBay but I just wanted sort of a nice fluffy eyeshadow blending brush. Um, this one here is a lip brush, small lip brush, an eyeliner brush, eyebrow brush and this came with my MUA makeup palette which I will show you in a bit as that is also a new purchase but it all, this was 175 
And it came with this damaged thing, but I think I'm going to take them out of the case and start just keeping them in like a, a mug or a glass on my desk because I don't really use the case much. Again, sorry it's a little bit dirty, but I also bought a stippling brush for my foundation. Um, it's pretty basic, it was like 50p, works pretty well. I also turn off the light because I think that's giving a... It's making it look less blue. So I'm just going to re-show you the uh, face palette real quick. Outside of the blue light, uh, I think you can see the colours a lot better there now. Highlight, face, light blush, dark blush, light contour, dark contour. Sorted! Okay, I bought this using some Boots points that I accumulated over Christmas. Um, I only really bought the, um, I showed you before in the previous video, the Cucumber Face Range um, products. Um, that's pretty much all I bought, but add on to that leftover Boots points I have and the fact that it was double points over Christmas, I managed to pick myself up the Rimmel London Match Perfection Foundation. I should have just a full blog post coming out on this um, in the future. Just swatch a little bit of this so you can see. There you can see. Finally, a drugstore foundation that actually works for pale people. And uh, the finish itself is kind of it's kind of a dewy finish, which I don't really like. I don't really like having sort of like a glowing dewy face, but um, you know, I can set it with powder, so I just live with that. Um, next up, I'm going to show, I'll show you, actually no, I'll leave all the MUA stuff for the end. Um, collection 2000, let's do that. I bought myself a couple things from Collection 2000. Again, the good thing about it being Collection 2000 is that most of the stuff you get, um, never really goes over two pounds um so again this was all with um the everything in this besides the primark um finds were before christmas so this is from a long long time ago um i've just been saving it all up um first from collection 2000 is the light pressed powder Watch a little bit for you there. Again, just I'm always on the lookout being someone of exceptional paleness. Um, I'm always on the lookout really for products that um, actually work for pale people. Um, next up is a lipstick. I um been trying to get out of my sort of funk with lipsticks because I really do like wearing lipsticks. Um, the only annoying thing is that I only ever seem to wear really dark reds or really dark purples. Um, which isn't a bad thing. I think being very pale, um, I make use of wearing these really dark colours because they contrast really nicely. But um, I've been trying to branch out into other colours, so I bought myself this lipstick, which is Collection 2000, and it is number five in Passion Fruit, and it's sort of like a pink-based corally colour with a little bit of shimmer. I don't know if it will show up properly on camera. So that's sort of like an orangey, pinky based coral, which is nice because I've heard from a lot of people that coral is sort of a, a good sort of bridging colour to have when you don't really wear colour much. And um, when you bought two items from Collection 2000, you got this free set of false lashes. Which I will film a video soon of me trying to use them because I'm notoriously crap with false eyelashes, so we'll see how that goes.